Cheriton Players proudly present two short lockdown comedy sketches by Jonathan Edgington. First up, Doctor Doctor. Come in. You're a woman. Uh, ten out of ten for observation. Where's Dr Wilson? Off sick. He can't be. He is. Doctors don't get sick. Oh, it happens. Are you sure he's off sick? I'm positive. Is there another male doctor I could see? Look, I'm not. What's wrong with a woman doctor? I must see a man. I think you've got the... Why? It's embarrassing. You have an embarrassing medical problem? Yes. Oh, I wouldn't worry about it. You wouldn't believe some of the things women doctors see. There must be a male doctor available. There's something I need to explain to you. Don't bother, you'll have to do. I will. Will I? It's down there. Your embarrassing medical problem? Yes. Look, I was trying to explain. Can you be more specific? In what way? Whereabouts is your problem? It's, it's, it's my, ahem, ahem. You have a problem with your, ahem, ahem. Yes. What's the matter with it? Oh, it's too embarrassing to explain. Really? I can't put it into words. Try. I'll have to show you. Well, before you go any further. (laughs) Too late. Oh, now... Some people wouldn't consider that to be a problem. It's been like that for two days. Two days? Yes. What have you tried? How do you mean? Well, what have you tried to make it... uh, Have you tried to make it go away? Everything. Everything? I've tried absolutely everything. I've even slept with my wife. Twice. Anything else? I've... uh, (coughs) On numerous occasions... Well, there's only one thing for it, then. Not an operation. Oh, nothing as drastic as that. What, then? You'd better see a doctor. I am. I'm not a doctor. What? I'm from the IT department. I'm, I'm fixing Dr Wilson's laptop whilst he's off sick. You said you were a doctor. This is outrageous. I never said anything of the sort. I kept trying to tell you I was from the IT, but you kept interrupting me and going on about needing to see a man. It's outrageous. It's beyond belief. It's criminal. It's... it's... gone. Oh, thank you. I don't care that you're not a doctor. You've cured me. Oh, thank you so much. Ah, sorted. Not often I get to fix two hard drives at the same time. That was Doctor Doctor by Jonathan Edgington. The man was played by Glyn Williams and the woman was played by Alison Carter. Next up, the dominatrix solution. Are you sure about this, George? Well, I've tried everything else. Everything? Everything. It's just that we've never seen you like this before. Like what? Naked. I'm not naked. Oh, you're nearly naked. These are my best Calvin Kleins. They're very nice. Very nice. Very nice. You're meant to be a dominatrix. You're not meant to tell me my underpants are nice. Sorry. Oh. I mean, I'm not sorry. If I want to tell you your underpants are nice, you'll have to... Um, uh, uh, put up with it. It would be better if you lost the ums and ers. Oh, you have a go, Laura. Oh, I'm not sure we're the right people for this, George. Why ever not? You both do Amdram. That's why I asked you. Have you ever actually seen either of us do Amdram? No, but I know you do it. You're always going on about it. You asked for our help. And? This wasn't quite what we had in mind. Where did you get our outfits? The internet. We've never done anything like this before. But you were both in the Chipping Norton Amateur Theatrical Society's production of Calendar Girls last year. It's not quite the same. Well, it can't be that different. 
Have you seen Calendar Girls? No. Do you know what it's about? Well, uh, a load of middle-aged women telling their husbands what to do. Is that what you want us to do to you? I want you to dominate me. Right. There must be another way to cure your little problem. Little? Who said it was little? I think you need to start by admitting to us what your problem is. Look us in the eye and say it out loud. Say what? Whatever your problem is. Say, my name is George and I suffer from... How will that help? I'll try it. Oh, my name is George and I suffer from... Oh. Spit it out. Writer's block. Is that your little problem? Well, what did you think it was? I just assumed it was, uh, you know. Well, I can assure you that everything is fine in that department. I just need to get my creative juices flowing. I've tried everything else and nothing works. I'm desperate. Oh, that's really exciting, George. I had no idea you were a writer. Oh, that's so amazing, so cool, so sexy. Uh, what sort of books do you write? I don't write books. Screenplays? I don't write screenplays. Oh. He's a journalist. He writes for a national magazine. Oh, that's still very cool, very sexy. I'm starting to look at you in a different light, George. Uh, what magazine do you write for? A Farmer's Weekly. Oh. You sound disappointed. Uh, not at all, not at all. What's in it for us if we help you? I've got a friend who writes plays. His new play's got great parts for two women of a certain age. For us? Well, you'd have to audition, but they'd be as good as yours. Oh, sounds interesting. What do you think, Kim? Let's give it a go. <coughs> <coughs> Look at me. I'm a demanding mistress and I'm ready to take you to the very edge of your comfort zones. Oh, that's more like it. Steady on, Laura. Don't get him overexcited. Not in those Calvin Kleins. I have an endless imagination and the desire to do very bad things to you as often as possible. Oh, very good. Well, I can be strict. I can be sexy. And sometimes I can be both. We know what bad boys like, don't we, Kim? We do, Laura. We most certainly do. The, it, it's working. The muse is whispering in my ear. I can feel an article about post-Brexit pesticide rules taking shape. George, what on earth do you think you're doing? Mavis, I, I thought you'd gone to Ikea with Janice. It was shut. And you'll be shut by the time I've finished with you. I'm going to my sister's. My lawyer will be in touch. It's not what it looks, Mavis. I, I can explain. Save it for the judge. George, was that your... Wife? Not for much longer, from the look of things. We'll explain the situation to her. Sort things out for you. Uh, don't, don't, don't. Please, whatever you do, don't. Uh, I've been trying to get rid of her for years. What? You're pleased? Uh, ecstatic. <laughs> Talk about killing two birds with one stone. Oh, you came round here to cure my little problem. Now, you've cured that, and now you've cured my big problem as well. Let's have a cup of tea and then see if you can really get my creative juices flowing. <laughs> I've got a Friday afternoon deadline for an article on slurry spreading. That was The Dominatrix Solution by Jonathan Edgington with Helena Gom as Kim, David Baldwin as George and Helen Gard as Laura. The part of Mavis was played by David Craddock. Sound engineering was by Charlie Hellard and the music was supplied by bensounds.com. This was a Cheriton Players Lockdown Production.